royal little birdies what's going on darling i am back with another royal vibe check because wrong <laughs> if you've been living under a damn rock you've seen today that princess catherine now known as sea chow apologized for her amateur edits to the family photo that she dropped yesterday for our um, mother's day um it's giving what the hell is going on you guys again the question remains where is Kate? Because we haven't seen our beloved Princess Catherine. A1 Day Wednesdays, this and birdies, welcome back home to the nest where it's always posh, royal, and lit lit. And if you are a new subby, a new little birdie, welcome home. Come on in, make yourself comfortable, take off your shoes, girl, put on some fuzzy socks, grab a cocktail, have a seat, girl. Gather around the fire, child. Just gather around the fire because all, no. Birds of a feather flock together. So welcome home to the birdie gang, okay? So <laughs> we all are in this uh, rabbit hole, if you will say, with this crown. We just don't know what's going on since, you know, Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth went home to glory. We just don't know what is going on. Some say it's karma. Some say this is, you know, the ghost of Princess Diana really, really getting her lick back because under, you know, King Charles's reign, all of this shit is going on and we don't know what the hell is going on. So guys, I've already prayed over the cards. I've already cleansed. Let me just go ahead and usher in some uh, good vibes, some good energy just to bring some clarity to this session. Because again, we just need to get a vibe check. We just got to check the temperature. Because apparently at Kensington Palace, someone fucked up real big. Like real big. I don't know how that somehow slipped through the cracks between Prince William's people Princess Catherine's people, like their teams, their assistants, like someone fucked up bad. Like, bring their asses to the damn burden. It's call them to the principal's office right now. Because it's like, obviously, we all know that Princess Catherine did not make those edits to that photo. Come, I mean, it's like, come on, we haven't seen Catherine. It blows my mind that, and maybe it's because Princess Catherine, has, not Princess Catherine, but Princess Diana has gone home to glory. But y'all remember back in the 90s, Princess Diana had no privacy. We haven't seen her, we haven't seen Princess Catherine just going for a casual walk. We just have we just haven't haven't seen anything. We like, what is going on? Like, it's Commonwealth Day today. She didn't appear at the service. I thought when they released that new photo today with her in the car with Prince William, I was like, okay, that's also giving tension. Like she's looking the other way. Prince William is looking very like stressed. Which valid, he's got a lot of shit going on right now. But it's just definitely giving trouble in paradise. It's giving trouble in the palace is what it's giving me. A child, listen, I don't know, but we're just going to tap in to see what the cards are saying. Magician at the bottom of the deck again regarding that photo. Trying to make things appear to seem like one way, but it's really not all about optical illusion like picture magic it's giving image magic or whatever like they're using these images to throw us off what my spirit is telling me and what i'm feeling is like these pictures are not current i'm like why why can't we see princess catherine and prince william together like mother's day would have been the perfect time even if she came out with even if princess catherine dropped the video like you know what guys my bad <laughs> you know my bad y'all i'm a mom these kids you know there's so much chaotic moms can relate it was my little oopsie, please forgive me. We were just trying to make some edits just and it just went terribly wrong, my bad. We couldn't even get that. So I don't believe it's her mistake. We're gonna see what the cards are saying. Spirit of the true and living God, show us what's going on with Princess Catherine. Did she make those edits to that family photo? Show us what's going on with that recent family photo. I see the nine of cups that came out. This this photo is giving me greed. First thing I heard was greed. I feel like this, again, was supposed to silence the naysayers. Put a good image out there. The royal family looks great. Everything is up on the up and up, right? Everything is fulfilled. You know, she's healing. She's happy. She's healthy. Again, the sun at the bottom of the deck. That was the intention. But again, I don't believe Catherine, nope. I don't believe Catherine was responsible for this. I got the two of swords that came out, right? Choices, indecision. I don't think she was okay with this photo. If she, if my thing is who posted the photo because they credited Prince William as the person that took the photo, right? He was the man behind the lens. So my thing is when he took this photo, where who got a hold of the photo to make the edits, and and who gave the okay and the approval 
to send the damn picture, but it's giving me no. Prince Catherine is not in her, in her damn right mind right now with the Two of Swords right now. Confusion, right? Not knowing. So, I'm trying to tell y'all. <clears throat> Little birdies, we just talking our shit. We just gathering around the fire. <laughs> Having a little bit of kitchen talk because, bitch, we know something going on. Next card. Mm -hmm, the world. Oh, wow. It's like a cycle. This is like, I feel like this was supposed to, again, be a success. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Again, a breath of fresh air. But again, rest in solitude. Four of Swords. When I pulled Catherine's energy, she is still resting. She is still recuperating. She's still in solitude. She's still a, I'm hearing a caged little birdie. Was that even her in the car today? Or was that Rose Hunberry? Like, <laughs> what is it giving, y'all? What is it definitely giving? You know what I'm hearing this, the world card? This is like the world seeing this. Like, every, the, the whole entire world, you guys, is seeing this shit. I got the Empress at the bottom of the deck, again, in her maternal energy, with her children regarding this terrible Mother's Day photo. Like, whose idea, who approved this? This was so bad. Shallow, she had to take the blame for it. And Princess Catherine, I, it, I'm, it's giving me now. I feel it in my gut. I don't feel like she was, there we go. I don't feel like she was responsible for that. First card that came out, King of Swords in the reverse. Manipulation, abuse of power. I feel like this is Prince William's uh, mistake. <clears throat> yeah, this was definitely his mistake. I'm getting that. This was all to make, again, this, I guess, I'm really feeling like, again, just, He's got, the thing is, and <laughs> thank you, spirit. I, I couldn't put it to words, but I'm getting it so clearly now. So I'm seeing Prince Harry's sweet little innocent baby face. The thing with William, since he's been born, like he can't do any wrong. That, like you have to understand this. Like no matter what he does, if he fails at something, whatever the case may be, any shame, any disgrace, any little, oh my God, if anyone knew about this, it was always someone there to protect him. You know, see, I'm, I'm here and see and blind here and deaf. I'm Jamaican, so it's a see, I'm blind here on deaf. Like, you, you may see Prince William doing something, but you'll never hear about that shit. It's been this way his whole entire life, and I'm really feeling like for this situation with this whole photo, Catherine had to eat the bullet because Prince Harry's not there to eat it for, or take the, the L for it, or it's not anyone there to necessarily um, take the fall. So it's like, okay, we have to point the fingers at the palace, Kensington Palace, and, you know, all, whoever. I, that's why I was like, someone's got to be accountable for that photo. Someone's got to be accountable. Look at that. The whole entire world is seeing this, like, the abuse of power. Like, I'm just hearing bullying. Just someone that's, I'm just hearing him say stupid. Like, just, I just, I don't know. I get an idea that Prince William likes to, like, throw things off of a table like throw papers at Pete. I just see him just being just really nasty, just a very nasty energy, very cold, abrasive. Just, and I just hear him saying stupid. And I, I don't know if he's calling Princess Catherine stupid or his staff stupid, but I'm just getting the energy that he's just really pissed off behind this whole photo thing. Ooh, I'm going to take that card. Yeah, next card is the three, no, the two of wands in the reverse. Sorry about that. Yeah, bad planning, the unknown, something going wrong. This is a, yeah, he, what he intended for this photo, looking pretty wholesome and happy with his wife and his children. He thought this was going to be, okay, ace of wands. Oh, everything is going great. They're off to a good start. It's victory. She's healing. It's all, all is well, right? The spark is there. The passion is there. But nah, it did the complete opposite. It backfired. I'm hearing it so loud and clear with this two of wands in the reverse. The plan backfired. The photo op, whatever the hell. Yeah, page of swords. Gossip. Yeah, gossip. People looking online, searching this up, becoming viral is what I'm hearing with this page of swords energy. Yeah, especially regarding the children. He's upset that everyone's talking about his kids. And, and, and yeah, because these kids got to go to school. They got to go to school and go around their peers. And this is what they got to deal with. Like, damn, like, damn, George, your mom really out there doing that? She doing, like, photo edits now? And you know kids are mean. Kids are mean. <laughs> like, kids are such assholes. Oh, my God, look at you guys. 
This is the Ten of Cups in the reverse. I'm going to take that. Disharmony, dysfunctional relationships, disconnection, lack of stability. Y'all, the cards already spoke with the energy. <sighs> this photo, y'all. Again, this is just a random royal update. I mean, they, they drop in these photos and it's, again, just giving this went all bad. I don't know who convinced Prince William and Prince Catherine this was going to work, but this is this is terrible and it's, and it's just going to look good. This is not a good look. Spirit, let's see what the naked truth is. Is there anything else we need to know in connection with this whole picture scandal, the royals? Just speak at this point. Anything that comes out, comes out. The naked truth. Spirit, speak. I'm just like, damn, how fucked up? And she had to eat the bullet for that. Like, really? Like, so I got to look at the, like, the asshole. <laughs> like, is what I'm getting. Like, poor thing. Catherine, we see you. Air sign. There we go. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Clarifying that King of Swords that's in the reverse. Heavy on the air sign energy, especially that aqua energy, is what I think about. You know, King of Swords, that's that fixed sign air, you know, sign, you know? But that's what it's definitely giving. I'm really feeling like this spring, that air sign energy around that Taurus season, that Gemini season, it's definitely giving. Something is coming down. We're going to see something this spring regarding the Royals. Yeah, movement at the bottom of the deck. Something is about to pick up a momentum. It's giving me Eight of Wands type of an energy, especially with this Page of Swords. This is taking off like wildfire. Wow. Mm-hmm. Contemplation. Oh, let's see what these cards got to say. Ooh, poor kids. I just hope, you know, those kids are around good people. Again. Oh, here we go. Non-committal. That jumped out. And also, Earth sign. This fall. Right? Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Princess Catherine, she's the earth sign. It's complicated also came out as well. I really feel like Prince William is struggling with um, being faithful. And, you know, with this job and with his title as, you know, here to the throne, these, you know, royal men, they're kind of notorious for keeping, you know, a mistress. I wouldn't be surprised even if Harry had somebody on the side. I just think that's like the thing with these royal men. I mean, King Charles did it with Princess Diana. Like, um, and we see... Yeah, healing. I'm telling you, Princess Catherine, she is healing. Okay, come through, Princess Catherine. Yes, lies. I'm sorry if that's glaring from my ring light, you guys, but do you see that? Lies, y'all. <sighs> lies about what? Relationship. Their relationship, their marriage. It's secrecy. Her eyes are covered in these damn photos. She's looking out the window in the opposite direction. He's looking all stressed, busted, disgusted, like he ain't got any damn rest. Probably ain't, ain't been home in the damn palace. On, what's going on, y'all? UK birdies, tap in. I see immature energy. Again, those children. Those, I get, I'm seeing these. With the immature energy, it's giving me children, childlike. These kids are feeling it. It's affecting them. Child, what's going on in the home? Tell, just tell me what's going on, y'all. Spirit said it's lies. There we go. Prince William, focused on money. Focused on the throne. Focused on his legacy. He, I'm just hearing that he's waiting for his old man to croak. Why am I hearing that? No. King Charles, he's looking well. His speech was really good, by the way, for the Common Day. I'm sorry, the Commonwealth Service. That was a beautiful speech that he gave. He looked really good. Um, but yeah, right now, I really feel like Prince William got bigger fish to fry. I think right now he's really in his king ego with this, this ruler energy, this bully, especially with this King of Swords energy. Abuse of power. I'm really feel like he's going to be a king that's going to rule with an iron fist. Y'all heard it here first. Twin flame as I pulled. Maybe he's thinking about Miss Hunter. And what's going on with her. Look at that. Empty handed. That's what Princess Catherine is feeling like. Like I'll put all this damn work, sacrifice, service into this damn firm. And this how y'all going to treat me? Y'all want me to walk out here empty handed? Like, no. Y'all going to have to run that. I wonder if this is um, Princess Catherine's way of rebellion, of rebelling, bitch. Is she? Is this a cry for help, bitch? Princess Catherine, ciao. Let us know if you need our help. We'll pull up. The girls just got. The girls just got to know, Princess Catherine. We, you ain't saying nothing. We ain't seeing no video. We just need to know if you're okay. My, that's what we really want to know. Last card. One last card. Let's see. Mm, shadow work inner child. I'm telling you, these children are going through it. 
her inner child is going through it. I got the puppy love crush. Again, this is all things youthful and young is what I'm getting. I feel like this is all about the children. Like Catherine is doing the healing work. I'm feeling like she's probably doing the therapy, talking to someone that's a trusted guidance. I don't know, like guru or therapist maybe. But I'm really getting that she's doing the shadow work. She's doing the healing. Like she's getting better. That's a good thing. Bless God. Yeah, comfort. Mm. Y'all, I'm trying to tell you. Let's see what the onyx deck is talking about. The fire is dimming down. At the bottom of the deck, I see, shh. Okay, again, the lies. The scandal. What's the secret? What are they hiding? Let me know what you think in the comments. What is going on? Clarify this energy. Mm -mm, the royal family. Princess Catherine. Prince and Princess of, of Wales. What's going on with them? These spirits. First card. Oh, my God. Divorce. Jesus Christ. First card is always the strongest, baby. There you got it. Divorce. And then at the bottom of the deck, I see reconciliation. What I'm getting is this. Someone wants out and someone wants to stay. I'm going to just put it like that. It's, it's, it's black and white. It's this energy of trying to save the marriage and also I want out. <laughs> it's definitely giving repeat history, maintenance. Wow, I'm hearing that Kate is high maintenance. Or at least that's how Prince William feels. Like, my God. Oh my God, not the divorce though and then reconciliation. What is going on? Clarify, tell me more. Yo, it's like the plot thickens. I, I'm, I'm just glad I'm not the only one that's like in this damn British rabbit hole right now because child, it's like the deeper I go, the more I discover. It's like, what is going on? Charisma coming through. She is so beloved. We I, Listen, that photo, I, again, I, there we go, royalty. Come through, Catherine. Just love when she comes through, like, come through, Catherine. <laughs> Yes, okay. With her charisma, with her grace, okay. The healing queen that she is, darling. Our queen in waiting, right? Darling, it's definitely giving royalty. It's giving charisma. I'm really feeling like she is definitely going within. So she don't really have to go without, especially with this empty-handed energy. I feel like she still wants to work. It's definitely just giving that Princess Diana, King Charles, when they were about to separate Prince Charles then, like, I don't know what I, I feel that greatly. That's just the vibe I'm feeling, you got you guys. Tell me more, spirit. Mm -mm. Friends, look at that. Divorce, wanting a co-parent. Come on now, lovers at the bottom of the deck. It's deep. It's deep between them. This is everything. Like this is what it comes down to. Lovers, our partnership, the throne. The monarchy, right? Our legacy. Divorce, separation, friends, co-parenting, being partners in this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Delusional. How fitting for Pisces season. My God, we're all a little delusional, right? <laughs> oh, God, tell me more. But, yeah, so maybe a friend may come forward, maybe one of Kate's friends or Prince William's close colleagues or, I don't know, a confidant may come through with a little update. Dance. Here we go. Celebration. Good times coming ahead. Third party at the bottom of the deck, you guys. Hmm. It's time to tell you, you guys. I'm just telling you. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the little birdie that told you. <laughs> but yeah, you guys. Also, thank you guys for supporting the channel and sharing with your friends, subscribing, and again, commenting. Initiate is the next card. Mm, that's an energy that came out last reading, I believe. Mm -hmm. Oop. Next card. Soulmate. Look at that. That energy is coming through. I'm telling you, they definitely have these ties. Everything. Intimate moments is what I'm getting. Friendship. Oh, man. 
next card peep game trying to tell y'all trying to tell y'all you got a peep game you guys it's something going on my lights going out relocate that came out in her last reading she had to go away is she are they separating right now or like separate like living in separate homes or something because with this divorce energy friends relocate no at the bottom of the deck what is going on Ooh, one last card Shallow. i don't know but it's getting something with separation like they're living in separate places right now mm. poetry feeling like writing or something regarding arts or something maybe coming through confirmation yeah that's definitely confirmation there may be some kind of written um letter or statement i'm just seeing something written with like their um I'm not, i want to say logo but it's like <laughs> whatever it is like that nice fancy royal logo that's at the very top of all their correspondence i'm like whatever that's called i'm just saying look their letterhead i'm just seeing a letterhead from the palace or something abusive I'm trying to tell you guys it's giving emotional abuse. It's giving verbal abuse. It's giving workplace abuse. It's, it's giving all those things. I don't think Megan was blowing smoke, y'all. I really don't. I really think how they're handling Princess Catherine right now, it definitely raises a lot of questions for me. Distracted at the bottom of the deck, you guys. I told y'all, stay woke. Let's see if there's anything that Spirit wants us to know as we read between the lines. In connection to this secrecy regarding where is Kate, this is Catherine we surface to apologize for these amateur edits for this photo, but child, we already know Princess Catherine is away resting. She is a caged little birdie. Where is our Princess Kate? Loves another. Yeah, he's seeing somebody else. It's a third party involved. First card again is always the strongest. I got divorced with the first pull and now loves another. It's definitely giving separation, you guys. I feel like they just don't know how to break it down to the public and the kids are probably going through it. It's just a lot. But it's like, why haven't we seen them together? It's been months. Isn't that a little strange? Is it me? Like, am I watching too close, you guys? I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> That's so crazy. Unrequited love is the next card. The love, I'm hearing when the thrill is gone. Yeah, there's the, the thrill is gone. Age difference again. I feel like maybe that's with maturity. When I saw the immature card, now with this coming out with age difference, someone's being hella immature. They're not on their grown man or grown woman bull, um, on their grown woman shit, is what I'm hearing. I see moving on as I pulled. Yeah, separation, moving on, severing ties, co-parenting, you know, being each other's part partner and support. You know, she'll still be the princess. It's just definitely giving the whole Princess Diana thing. Like when they were trying to strip her away from her title when they divorced and it was like, nah, like, why would you want to strip like the king? There we go. No. It's spirit is saying no. Oh my God. Something ain't right. It's definitely giving me that. They want to separate and just co-parent. Fall is at the bottom of the deck. I see that earth sign and then also this autumn energy. Spring and autumn, which is obviously the next seasons, right? No, actually, no, spring and summer. <laughs> I really feel like spring and maybe autumn, we'll see something going on with the whales. But, shall right now it's giving chaos in Kensington Palace, Buckingham Palace. Oh, my God, not interested. How loud do you want to be, spirit? Not interested. Not waiting at the bottom of the deck. Prince William don't want to wait. He like, yo, man, we need to just make some changes now. Like, I'm feeling like he's being very impatient. I would just love to see, like, I think, like, body language experts spring. There we go. Thank you, spirit. Something's going down this spring, which is, like, what, a few days away? We're already in Pisces season. I feel like Aries season is right around the corner. Yeah. That's what it's definitely giving me, you guys. I'm just getting not interested. Like, he's not interested in conver having conversations with her. He's not interested in intimacy. He's just, I feel like they're living separately, you guys. Spirit is telling me they're living separately. They're living separately. I feel that strongly. Leo energy. Ooh. 
Meghan Markle, she's always in the middle of something. I don't know. What, is there a lot of people trying to maybe tag this or uh, say that maybe Meg, Meghan Markle is responsible for this? Because apparently she's responsible for everything that goes wrong in the palace. But it's like, I'm getting that feeling. But no, I definitely feel like this is primarily for Princess Catherine and Prince William. I feel like this is just regarding their marriage right now. You know, it's just it's just giving a lot of chaos within their union. I really don't think this is something Meghan Markle has something to do with. Um, I just feel like it's a, it's it's comparing apples and oranges because of how she was openly explaining you know explaining her issues with mental illness and you know they didn't really take it serious but you know Princess Catherine had that luxury to actually go away get better and um, get the help that she needs because hell let's just be honest we all work right we all have a job we all deal with things things personally privately openly whatever the case may be and sometimes we need a damn mental break. So it's like, damn, if Meghan Markle was saying this shit, like, why couldn't y'all just give her that? But, you know, I'm just here to, here we go, family-oriented. I'm just here to say that I can see why they can, why some of the Duchess girlies can f be in their feelings. I don't know why they would be in their feelings, but I can see why. But family-oriented came out. The family, again, the firm, the throne, the royal children, the royal babies, compassion at the bottom of the deck. I feel like that home is very toxic, you guys. It's giving. We're splitting time with mommy and daddy. It's giving. Dad's away traveling again. We're hanging out with the nanny again. It's giving. Oh, God. Here's Grandma Middleton. It's giving that. You know, I'm just seeing Princess Charlotte just really being, like, sad. I don't know why I just see her face, like, with this annoyed look on her face, like, oh, my God. No middle child. Responsible. Mm, who's to blame? Who's going to be accountable for this whole debacle with this whole picture? Gemini energy is at the bottom of the deck as well. This is giving me, you know, Gemini is the what? The sibling sign, right? The twins, the duality. Again, I'm feeling like Prince William and Prince Harry has got to have some conversations or po possibly work on that relationship and also you know communication right page of swords energy definitely came out insecure prince princess catherine feeling insecure y'all wearing sunglasses looking out the window not wanting to be seen it's like what is it giving girl did you gain a little bit of weight did you lose some weight we not judging princess catherine you gonna shine anyway boo trustworthy look at that <sighs> my god focus at the bottom of the deck Last card. Our lenses are focused, people. We can all see the bird's eye view of what's going on in this, obviously. Trouble in paradise. Y'all, if y'all watched, thumbs up. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Happy Commonwealth Day again. Drop your flag down there and y'all let me know. But at this point, I'm out. Stay royal, stay beautiful. Bye.